Hello guys, this is the ASMR medic. I hope you're well. We're in the end dimension following our fight with the ender dragon in the last video. We killed him within about the space of about 20 minutes, I think. And uh, we're now trying to explore the end, looking for an end city. Um, I have to go through this little portal up here. We did actually do that very briefly at the end of the last video. But not with much luck, we probably, well, I didn't actually bring you along for the ride, and um, for good reason really, I actually ended up killing myself. Let's get ourselves a bit of endstone before we leave. Yeah, I ended up killing myself, um, and although I thought I was very well prepared for any deaths that might occur in the end, um, especially when I was fighting the Ender Dragon, um, I'm in a bit of a sticky situation now because I didn't bring any spare armour. As you can see, I am all out of armour. Um, and that's a big issue when I'm planning to go and raid some end cities that have horrible shelters all over the place um, and lots of endmen that I could potentially aggro. Um, obviously, when I died, I lost my jack lantern as well. Um, you might remember, if you watched the last video, that I accidentally left peaceful mode on. Um, doesn't seem like many people really care. <laughs> um, if anyone does particularly care, um, the next time I come here, I obviously won't be doing it in peaceful mode. But conscious to the fact that I was in peaceful mode, I won't be in peaceful mode for the ends of the city uh, dimensions. I don't actually think that I can be if I want to get some shulker shells because obviously then the shulkers won't spawn um, so that's kind of out of my hands even if I even if I did want to um, be in peaceful mode uh, let's just move these across like that let's head into the end dimension not very really sure what this achieves um, so we're going to head in, um, I've got a whole bunch of interpels that we're going to use to sort of transport our way through the end. Um, I think we went this way last time. No. I think we went this way. So checking it's minus 800 minus 600 that's where we are that's where we need to come back to if we're ever to actually exit the end i'm fairly certain we want we need to go through there so what we're going to do is we're just going to have a little bit of a wander together looking for the end city from memory it's not too hard to find the first one i think there's usually one relatively nearby but you can get a situation like this which we're experiencing right now, which is that platforms can be seriously far away from each other. Um, you need to grab quite a lot of endstone or maybe some other... Whoa, he was desperate for me to, to attack him, wasn't he? Some other material that we can use to bridge across. Um, bridging across is usually a little bit nerve-wracking, but to be honest, so long as you're, you're not going to do anything stupid, that should be absolutely fine. There's nothing in the end that, um, or other than the shulkers, that um, automatically aggro to you that they're always in the end city, so that's not too much of an issue. Uh, we can just happily bridge ourselves across with no real issues. I'm liking the look of that one over there, I'm not sure how far away it is. Um, but yeah, this, this, this uh, process usually means you end up with a bit of a cramp in your in your pinky finger from holding holding down shift for so long. I think that's easily two stacks away. What do you reckon? A couple of maybe a hundred or so blocks away. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a process. I don't know if I'm going to just do this as a single long video or maybe split this up and try and edit it a bit, but. 
doing the Ender Dragon, I quite enjoy just doing a single long video. That's something that I've done, I've not, or that I've not done for a while. I've been uh, quite rigorously editing my videos for the past uh, however many, however many um, weeks. Um, yeah, it's quite nice to do a kind of un. I mean, it's edited here and there for the removal of noise and things like that, but. Yeah, look how far away this is. We're almost through an entire stack already. Um, how much we have? Um, oh, okay, so. Um, <laughs> hmm. I may have mentioned that it, it's uh, easy to bridge across so long as you hold down the shift. It seems that I was holding down the uh, caps lock button. When I try to re-crouch down. Now the biggest issue for us right now is that we officially have no weapons. I've lost two two lots of weapons and tools. We do have probably enough building blocks of various kinds to continue our journey. Uh, we could obviously go and get some ender pearls from some endermen. We've still got some steak left. Potion, potions of slow falling. I mean, we could just keep, we could keep searching, and then I can make my own personal journey back home. Um, to be honest, it might just be quick to, for me to destroy my bed and then kill myself. Um, I think that might be quicker because it, we are, we are quite far away from. Yeah, minus fifty two thousand one hundred. Um, especially with no tools or uh, weapons, so it might be quite difficult for me to get back home. So, um, yeah, let's let's continue. Let's continue. We haven't got any armor. We haven't got any any tools really. I brought my axe as just a semi weapon. Um, to be honest, I didn't think I'd be able to kill myself twice, um, or at least if I did kill myself twice, it wouldn't be falling into the void twice. But yet again, I've. Uh, I managed to surprise myself. I surprise myself every day with uh, what I'm capable of in this game. So let's aggro some of these guys. Um, get a couple of ender poles. But we're going to need a fair few. Um, and this is going to take a while now. Um, I'm not sure how many hearts the axes take off. I think they're actually quite effective, but we are going to need quite a lot of, um, of ender pearls. And obviously there's no looting on this thing. Three ender pearls. Mm. I guess we could spend the whole time bridging over. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. We just need a few ender pearls. One to get us actually... Oh dear. I keep forgetting that the they hit really hard and uh, we haven't got any armor on. So that's something to keep. I mean, if we get aggroed by a Enderman now, um, when we're in the end looking for the city, we're going to die. Um, pretty much certainly. Um, we've got quite a lot of wood that we can turn into planks to bridge as well. Obviously, we haven't got the ability to mine. So, so let's kill these last few endermen. I think we've got three here, which should give us at least two ender pearls if we're lucky. I don't want to aggro anymore. This does take a long time by the looks of it. I'm not sure how many hearts it takes off. There we go. Okay, I think that's all of them. I don't want to get ambushed by one final aggroed one. But yeah, very successful start to this video, as you can see. Um, we're going to build up, we're going to throw one of these ender pearls, we'll eat, okay, so we need to use those pretty spar pretty sparringly, sparringly, sparsely, <laughs> sparsely. Um, that's frustrating. I mean, when I fell into the, into the void, what I always do, which is why the video actually cut off, um, is I immediately, when I'm in my, in my same single player, 
I immediately just by reflex press uh, escape which obviously pauses the game and I just think <clears throat> what am I going to do here am I going to am I going to um, is there a way out of this basically <laughs> is what I think and usually the answer is not really um, <laughs> I have to admit um, it's one of those things that's pretty frustrating and uh, makes your heart heart go a little bit um, when you're experiencing it when you're watching it no yes, I don't I th think it'd be quite funny if you do, if you guys to watch that um, actually it might be far enough that we can throw an ender pearl although what's what's really the point because we're gonna have to come back anyway and I'm not gonna throw an ender, ender pearl to land on this little bridge am I right so let's try that again crouch I mean how did I not realize I wasn't crouching God <laughs> so bad <laughs> was I? <laughs> I obviously can't remember what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> I'm still thinking about how stupid that was. I mean, what I was trying to do, I remember thinking as I was about to crouch down, I was thinking, do you, it was really, it's like one of those stupid things where you kind of forget the controls of a game you've played for so long. I was thinking, do you need to like start moving first before you press crouch? And I was like, no, if that's stupid because I was about to press W or S. city have I just been completely unaware that that's what this thing does might be worth taking down the coordinates of this uh, I guess it probably does take you to an end city or well, what are the coordinates of this minus 700 minus 1000 right then minus 700 minus 1000 should I just throw myself in or am I going to get ambushed by hmm. not ideal it's taking me all the way back okay then that's not what that does we're learning it looks like we just have multiple opportunities and places where we can <laughs> someone's gonna laugh at me for that <laughs> this has been an absolute disaster of an uh, exploration but to be honest I'm taking it as a learning opportunity, it seems. <laughs> not by not by choice, but um it's you know, look at this triple new new pillar. Why don't we just make some sort of I'm I'm guessing just by the number of times we're eventually gonna go through there, it's gonna slowly but surely make its way down into a stair to a staircase. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing all of those portals take you there's just multiple, multiple of them. Whoa. Oh no. Have I thrown that off the edge? Why did that not go through? Yeah, it seems like. Well, we've only got three now. Oh, actually, well, there's still loads of endermen here. I was thinking we need to get endermen before we go through, but that's not true. We could just kill the endermen here. Um, so long as we have enough building materials to make a little canopy. Um, there's loads of these little floating islands. Didn't realise that. What was the thing? I thought there were like one or two of these things. Just like you might get little islands in Minecraft in water. Um, but they are absolutely everywhere, aren't they? I'm not sure what the world generation is like in the end, to be honest. I, as you can obviously see, um, I'm not a veteran when it comes to exploring the end. Um, I think the only time that I've actually that is going to kill me that is going to kill me 
kill me because I'm not I'm gonna forget I didn't put another thing here. So let's just uh, preempt that. The only time I've actually explored the end before this was in I'm talking properly explored the end, like go through here, through the little portals. Oh Do I spy a ship or is that just another island in the distance? I think it's another island. Um, yeah, the only time I've explored the end was in, was it on was actually on PS4, um, and that's not even really exploring. I had a a server or I guess a, a sort of multiplayer world with uh, Techmink, um, previously known as the ASMR Technician. Um, doesn't really upload very many videos at the moment, but um, yeah, we made a few few videos together playing different games and this, that and the other and hang on, is that no, I keep missing, it's just the shape of these island looks like the sort of hull of a ship um, yeah, yeah we um, we had a few uh, a few different servers together right, what are we going to do here, which one should we go, I think we might let's go that way, let's preach as little as we can yeah, we had a, a PS4 server and uh he defeated the end dragon. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm not going to defeat the end dragon, am I? And, um. Let's go like this. And I took the opportunity when it was when it was finally dead to actually go and explore the end of my own and, um. Get some shock shock shells and things like that. And yeah, actually, it's not really not that difficult so long as you've got, like, potions of slow falling or. Just good armor, really, and you use your use your brain a little bit, so you to make sure that you don't end up kind of getting um, thrown off the edge loads of times, like I've done already twice here. Um, to be honest, I think you can make excuses, can't you? But I just feel like I'm not really concentrating, um, not pressing shift properly before before walking off the edge. That sort of thing. I mean, it's pretty. Pretty amateur, um, but you know I am. I am. I am pretty amateur at this game. So uh, let's go here. This isn't the best because obviously we have to pair up every time. But hey ho. Um, make sure this. Oh yeah, I knew it. I knew there'd be a gap. Ooh. Oh, we don't have slow. Not slow falling. We don't have um, feather falling, do we? Of course. I was thinking that's not going to hurt me, but yeah. oh, I'm just thinking it's going to be an absolute pain trying to get all the uh, all the all my equipment back, all my armor and things like that. Oh God, I'm fairly certain I have, I have a few sets of armor, uh, but nothing with the kind of enchantments that I had. Um, obviously, lost all my levers, and I've not got a grinder. I'm probably going to have to do some AFK fishing overnight. I don't know if anyone who watches if they're particularly familiar with Minecraft or if they just kind of like the relaxing content. But in the new update that's coming, 1.16, these snapshots have made it, uh, there's some of the alterations to some of the game mechanics, I'm not really exactly sure how it works, but they've made it essentially impossible to, um, to AFK fish, which is a shame. Um, let's go that way. I see a little bridge that's almost the, all the way across. So yeah, that's an issue for me because that is really one of the easiest um, and probably most overpowered ways to get um, villager books, villager books, to get um, to get enchanted books. The reason I said villager books because I'm thinking <laughs> about the fact that now I'm going to have to uh, become at least relatively proficient with uh, village trading and uh, villager breeding and that sort of thing, which I just know absolutely nothing about. If there's a shortcut in the game, a relatively legal shortcut in the game, trust me, that avoids all redstone, I'll be there to, to, to exploit it. Um, is that? That's a ship, 100%. I can see the little hull. Oh, I don't have um, Optifine on. That is the hull of a ship. Absolutely. Oh, yes. 
pets before we go. Now we've got enough wood to get across. Right. Shift and click. <laughs> it's like the thing from Harry Potter, isn't it? Um, her mind, she goes swish and flick. <laughs> swish and flick. I was about to say swish and click. <laughs> Shift and click. 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 Easy peasy. Shift and click. As you are probably aware, I'm back doing softly, softly spoken rather than um, whispering. Personally, that is absolutely an entity. Right, what we're going to do, because we've been playing for a little while now anyway, especially well for, mainly for the length of a video, we are going to go find that ship and stand relatively close to it. I don't think there's really a position in which you can get shot by shulkers. Um, actually, let's just take the coordinates now. Minus one third, thirteen hundred minus thirteen hundred, basically. And yeah, one hundred percent. Yes, get in. There we go. We have found ourselves the in city. It's actually not. It's actually still quite far away. We have to make our way over there. Um, I think you get an achievement when you actually walk into the official vicinity. Oh, it's like on an island of its own. It's going to be a pain. I have to bridge all the way across. But I think that is pretty much confirmed. What I'll do is I'll remember where I am here, which is minus 1400, minus 1300. It's good, it's good actually being able to record these things because you don't actually have to remember anything. I can just kind of go back into the footage, watch parts of the video to remember where things are. But there we go. The end city. We finally found it. Um, didn't take too long, I have to be honest. Only really been searching around for about what is that? What has it been? I don't know, half an hour. Um, no, probably about an hour for me. I've actually um, when I died and setting up and things like that. Uh, but yeah, we found it relatively easily. Uh, I thought it might take a bit longer than this. Quite small, so we have an elytra there. I don't know if it's actually always certain that you get a ship. I don't think it is. I think we've actually got quite lucky here. Um, and yeah, brilliant. I'm quite happy with that. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, uh, evening, or night, whatever it may be. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye.